To get straight to the point, if you notice that you have an image sequence that isn't lasting quite as long as you would expect, the way to solve it is just to right click on the image sequence in the project source and go to interpret footage, main, and type in 25 or 24 frames per second into there and hit OK. You'll then notice that your uh, duration extends to uh, the end as you would expect and then you just have to drag uh, this out right to the end there and then I have 100 frames of footage and now it's using every single frame. Uh, if you're unsure on how to get this far, let's go into more detail on how to import multiple frames into After Effects. First of all, you always have to copy or cut your image sequence out from the other software's project location, such as the Maya Images folder, and uh, into a dedicated After Effects directory. So I've got my Maya output folder here, obviously the Maya Images folder. I've got my image sequence. I don't want to leave it in here just in case I um, do it, set up another batch render and Maya will overwrite these. And it also keeps all of my uh, Im images together with the After Effects file. So I'm going to cut those out from my uh, Maya images folder and into a After Effects um, directory that I've set up here. I'll put them into the source folder and create a new folder in there, called it the image sequence so we don't mix it up with other image sequences and just uh, cut and paste them in. Okay, once we've done that, we can jump into uh, After Effects. In fact, I'm going to just copy the uh, location from there to make it really quick and double click in your project window here and paste in the uh, location. And then we're gonna click on the first frame only. Uh, don't select everything. Uh, if you click on the first frame, After Effects is clever enough to notice that it needs to be a TIFF sequence. Um, or JPEG sequence depending on what format your images are and then go ahead and hit import as long as that is checked and This window will come up here. Um, I always just click straight unmatted and um, this means that if any of my images have Transparency or an alpha channel on them. It will remember that and import them there these images don't but I'll, I'll just hit it anyway Okay, so that comes up in our project folder here and now I'm going to bring this down into our timeline to set up uh, a, a, a composition and After Effects will automatically set up a composition um, for us. Now my image sequence is a hundred frames and uh, I would expect at 25 frames per second this to last four seconds long. So in After Effects I can see that it's automatically created a composition um, but it seems to be somewhere around the three second mark. Um, so let's check this in more detail um, uh, regarding the composition. So we can go to composition, composition settings, and in here we can see that when we drag the image sequence into the timeline, it did set up um, the composition at the correct uh, aspect ratio here, but it's uh, done it at a redundant frame rate of 30 frames per second. Um, the industry mainly uses 25 or 24 frames per second. Um, I prefer using 25 frames per second. Um, and we can also see down here, the other problem is the duration isn't four seconds as I would expect, um, obviously due to the 30 frames per second thing as well. So I'm gonna type in four seconds in there because I know that my 100 frames should come out as four seconds. I'll then go ahead and click OK. And we'll notice, you may notice uh, that your composition will extend. If you don't notice any changes here, just click um, on the time navigator here and drag it out to the full duration of the composition. And you will now see that your image sequence doesn't actually last four seconds. It just lasts three and a bit, even though we've just changed those settings up there. So we just need to interpret this image sequence differently. And the way to do that is to right click on the image sequence in your project area up here, go to interpret footage, main, and we can see that it's still trying to get this 30 frames per second and round that down our throat. So let's change that to 25 uh, frames per second and then hit OK. And again, if you don't make any further changes, it's still going to try and end it where, where it used to end here. Um, and that's not what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the uh, duration of these image, uh, image sequence out to the end. And so now the image sequence truly lasts for four seconds. 
So you're now using every single frame that you've rendered instead of having After Effects cut out uh, frames every now and then to bring it down to 30 frames per second. Um, but you will have to remember to uh, right click and interpret footage on every single image sequence that you bring into After Effects. So if you're bringing in any other passes, such as an occlusion render or a depth pass, you're going to have to remember to interpret them as well to bring them out to the same duration.